right, now for number eight. All right, number eight is kind of tricky. And this is part of the reason why it's tricky, because the 3 minus x. This is the other reason it's tricky, because of the subtraction. Uh, so first step is going to be to factor the denominators, right? All right, so I'm going to have 4 minus x squared. And then uh, x squared minus 9, you can factor using the difference of squares. So go ahead and do that. Hopefully you did it. <laughs> okay, uh, it'll be x minus 3 and x plus 3. And then minus, uh, we got x minus 2. Now, I know this, this thing doesn't technically, you know, quote unquote factor. But because the leading term, because the, the linear term is negative, I need to factor out a negative here. It's just, that's what you do. If your leading variable term is negative, you always want to factor that out. So I'm going to factor out a negative. And what that's going to do is it's going to flip these two numbers. All right, it would change it to a negative 3 and a positive x. So I'm going to write positive x and a negative 3. So take a second and kind of you know, reorient your mind so that you can confirm that these two things are equal. All right, it's an important little algebra trick to be able to do. If you put the negative back in, uh, negative 1 times x would give you that negative x. Negative 1 times negative 3 would give you that positive 3. Okay, so you could work this problem from here. Uh, like, you know, give this one on the right an x plus 3 and give this one on the left uh, an, uh, oh, a negative. You can multiply top and bottom by negative 1. Uh, but the trick to make this problem easier is that you can use this negative symbol uh, to change your sign right here. Because if you're subtracting a negative quantity, you can use that to like change it to an addition. And that's what I'm going to do. All right, so don't miss out on this. This really helps your problem. Because you're subtracting a negative, that's just going to make this a big plus sign. And then I can get rid of the negative symbol right here. Okay. All right, now uh, what I need to do is I need to multiply this one on the right by x plus 3. By x plus 3 over x plus 3. All right, so I'd recommend, you know, try the problem from here, see if you can finish it out, and uh, then continue on later, and you'll have the answer, I guess. All right, uh, it's going to be 4 minus x squared. All right, I don't have to factor that or anything. The numerators you don't have to factor. And then it's a plus sign, so I don't have to include a big old set of parentheses. Uh, but I need to multiply these two numerators x times x will be x squared, x and a 3 will be 3x, negative 2x, and negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. All right, and then my denominator is x minus 3, x plus 3. All right, you're going to have a lot of stuff that cleans up in the top. All right, so that can cancel with that. Uh, see here, we're going to have 3x minus 2x, which is 1x. And then you have a positive 4 and a negative 6, so that'll be minus 2. And then over x minus 3, x plus 3. And that should be our final answer, okay? Because uh, the top won't factor at all. So hopefully we got it right. I'll just plug in some number for x. The only number I don't get to plug in for x is 3 or negative 3. So I'm going to plug in 5 again just to see what I get. Uh, let me go up to the original. And we'll plug in 5 for x. Alpha y equals, all right, it's going to be 4 minus 5 squared. And then it's going to be 5 squared minus 9, 
and then minus alpha y equals 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 minus 5, oh, well, let's put it, 3 minus 5, there we go. All right, the calculator says it's 3 over 16. And then if I go down here, I should also get 3 over 16. Okay. Uh, 5 minus 2 is 3. And then on the bottom, you get 5 minus 3, which is 2, times 5 plus 3, which is 8. There it is, 3 over 16. Cool.